thank you, Robert. I'm Snehal Kadam, and I'm going to talk about Consol Energy Center. Consol is a state-of-art ice hockey arena and multi-purpose event center that opened in fall of 2010. This is the first NHL-specific arena with LEED Gold certification. The goal of this arena was to provide a facility for the worthy 2009 Stanley Cup champions. This project was a collaborative effort between the design team, construction team, and the owner's representative. The design architect was Poplis, and we were the engineer of record. The project timeline from design to topping of steel was just 24 months. And to achieve this fast track schedule, we delivered multiple early packages in line with the construction schedule. This also helped us in identifying the fabricator and erector's preferences and thus streamlined communication between the various teams. One of the biggest challenge of this project was the site condition. The site is located in the heart of Pittsburgh downtown and surrounded by multiple existing buildings. Furthermore, there is an 85 feet elevation change across the site, which partly sits into bedrock on one side and drill piers on the other side. Behind the basement walls, we used controlled low strength material, also called as CLSM, as a backfill material, because the weight of CLSM is only 25% compared to traditional backfill materials. So what is the advantage? Well, this helps reduce the gravity load on the underlying fill by 25%, and thus reduces the soil consolidation. And it also helps reduce the lateral pressure and demand on the wall. Due to this complex foundation system, we also provided specialty engineering services to the contractor. These services included design of temporary foundation bracing system and also re reviewing the backfill schedule with the contractor. This helped them to remain aligned with the project schedule and budget. The unique feature of this arena is this 100 feet tall atrium space with a dramatic glass curved spine wall that provides a spectacular view into the concourse levels and the downtown of Pittsburgh. This also serves as a grand escalator with multiple, esca with multiple escalators. The roof system consists of four main trusses, two of which are queen post tension tied arch trusses. This roof supports catwalks, platforms, dead load, snow load, sorry for that, uh, catwalks, platforms, dead load, snow loads, uh, 80,000 pounds scoreboard, and 200,000 pounds of concert rigging. Now, like, that is like about e equivalent to a standard diesel locomotive supporting from this roof. For this roof, we studied several long span truss systems, like one-way, two-way, radial. Typically, a uh, long span truss system requires greater depth in order to support the load and reduce the deflection. However, greater depth means interference with the press sight lines, and it also increases the weight of truss web members. To remove these pitfalls, we use tension-tied arch truss system because it takes advantage of the overall depth and also minimizes the weight. Thonton Tomacity used a 3D Tecla BIM and Revit model to model the entire arena. This was shared with a steel fabricator and which enabled them to request early mill order packages and, and including the steel jumbo shapes from overseas. The design team also used these models to anticipate and resolve issues long before that would arise on the field. As a part of our construction support services, we also did connection design of all critical joints and entire roof system. And this helped 
early fabrication process, and also reduce RFI time. The reason we did connection design is because the design engineer is in a better position to use a good judgment and has clear understanding of the intended load path. We also did connection design of all the steel precast tub units and we coordinated it with the precaster. To meet, the, to meet this fast track schedule, it required expedited construction drawings, extensive shop drawing review, and an open and daily communication. However, since we developed a strong relationship with the steel fabricator and the owner's representatives, we were able to remain aligned with the project schedule and meet the owner's vision and budget. Recently, the Sports Business Journal named this arena as the best NHL-specific arena. And for this, I would like to thank the entire team of engineers and modelers for the success of this project. I would also like to thank my mentors, Steve Hoffmeister, Gary Storm, and Art Otto. Next, up next, I would like to call upon Matt Steiner from our Irvine office, who will be talking about earthquake emergency response.